College hopefuls will see a major overhaul to the 88-year-old Scholastic Aptitude Test, or SAT, in the spring of 2016. The exam is used by colleges and universities in the United States to see how well students can apply their knowledge in math, reading, and writing. As CCTV's Rosa Kazan reports, the SAT redesign will affect both American and foreign students. For decades, the SAT, or Scholastic Aptitude Test, has held the key to higher education here in the United States. So many welcomed the sweeping changes announced on Wednesday. Everything students encounter on the exam should be widely applicable to their work in college and career settings. The new SAT removes the penalty for wrong answers, makes the essay part optional, and replaces obscure vocabulary words like sagacious with practical words like synthesis. And that's good news for students beyond the U.S. borders. Traditionally, U.S. colleges have required foreign students who want to study here to take the TOEFL, or test of English, as a foreign language. But that is changing now, as most top universities now also expect international students to take the dreaded SAT. Students should know that the competition has changed. Colin Grunwald of Kaplan Test Prep says online applications have made it easier for foreign students to target U.S. colleges. When anyone in the world can apply to the same school you are, that competition simply increases. So you need to find out what are the ways for you to stand out. And international students should be considering that. In fact, the number of international students studying here oh, nearly oh, doubled in the last 20 years, from 439,000 in the early 90s to over 800,000 last year. The tea original from China. That's why Shui Qin, who came from China to improve his English and eventually study finance, plans to take the SAT in addition to TOEFL tests. I think if they, uh, after they change it, the SAT be much easier than before. He thinks he lays the math right, part, but the essay good. is giving yeah. him nightmares. With the essay being optional, that um, you could say that takes away a certain edge that native speakers had on getting an overall score. So it's good news both for teachers. This is a welcome change and a less stressful. And right, students who what hope kind of to see their hard work to pay off. Rosa Kazan, CCTV, Chicago.